welcome to Triando's Diamond, Roman numeral 4, entitled Fear. Fear stands for false evidence appearing real. I'm going to say that again. False evidence appearing real. If you're like me or anybody else, you have some type of fear that you either dealt with or you're currently dealing with. And what I want to talk to you today about in this particular Triando's Diamond is I want to give you one particular step that will help you aid in overcoming or moving past or moving closer to moving past your particular fear. You see, you know, if you go back in your life and think about it or think about anybody's life, from early on, we attract and have fears that we take with us throughout our entire lives up until adulthood. And you know, there are really two types of people in life. You have some people who have fears in their life and they allow that particular fear to control their entire life and they never do anything about it. And then you have other people who have fears who have learned to channel and overcome those particular fears. My, my goal of this particular tree on this diamond is to get you to move past that particular fear. Now, let's take different fears. Let's just talk about it. There, there's so many fears in life. Some people are, are scared to drive on the highway. Some people are scared to go fast. Some people are scared of heights. Then you have people who are scared to swim. Then you have people who are who have a fear that they'll lose their job. Some people have a fear to start that particular business. What you have to realize is fear, in order to overcome fear, you have to take some type of action. And if you don't take any action, then you fail to try to overcome the fear. So, let's take a small fear, or maybe a big, it's a big fear to somebody else. Let's just take the fear of swimming. You know, I was talking to a good friend of mine, and he has a fear of swimming. He hates the water. When you talk about going swimming or anything like that, he gets goosebumps, and he might turn purple and pass out on you. You know, that might sound funny to some others, but it's not really funny to him. And the real reason he has a fear, when I talked to him and found out a little bit deeper, he had an experience where he was at the pool, maybe at seven years old, and somebody pushed him in the pool and he almost drowned. He, he went up, gasping for air, one time, happened second time, third time, and he almost drowned until the lifeguard pulled him out the water. And he said to himself that very day, I will never get back in the pool. Interesting. The, this particular guy is in his 40s and he still has a fear of swimming. Now, what can he do about that? A lot of you all were like, well, just take some lessons. Easier said than done. Let's actually think about it for yourself. If you ever had a fear, it's not that easy to overcome it. But what you want to do is you just want to take a plain piece of paper and draw a line down the middle and write down some reasons why you want to overcome the fear and what you can do to take some action steps. All it takes to overcome a particular fear or to move past it is to take some small action steps. So what you want to do is you want to ask yourself, why do I want to overcome this fear and what do I need to do to overcome this fear? And these two steps will help you and aid you to overcome that particular fear. It's been a pleasure of mine to talk to you about fear, false evidence appearing real in this Triandos Diamond Roman numeral 4. So take action and don't allow the fear to conquer your life.